When I think of fast food, burgers, fries, dogs, and my favorite onion rings come to mind. But why pay takeout prices when you can make them at home? So let's make up some incredibly crispy and delicious onion rings. The first thing we're going to do is grab up three or four medium-sized onion and white onions or yellow onions work absolutely fine. Then using a good sharp knife, you want to cut these into about quarter inch slices. Not too thick, not too thin. Of course, grab up that onion slice and press apart those rings. You're going to get various size rings here. Some you'll use and some you won't. Now, one little trick here. There is a membrane on the inside of the ring and sometimes the batter won't stick that well if you don't remove the membrane. Not absolutely necessary, but it does help the batter stick a little better. But it is entirely up to you. So we are going to get a good batch of ringed onions, something like this, and in my humble opinion, this looks pretty good. And any teeny tiny rings you don't use, you can just slip them in a bag and use them for a salad or something like that. Alrighty then, let's begin with our batter, starting with a cup of all-purpose flour. You can throw a bit of cornstarch in there too, it really helps. Then we're going to season this up with about a teaspoon of salt, another teaspoon or two of ground black pepper, and about a quarter teaspoon of cayenne, which is totally optional, but it does add a nice little bit of heat. Grab up the old handy dandy whisk and whisk everything until it is well combined. Now for the secret ingredient, about two and a half cups of cold, cold sparkling carbonated water. You want that carbonization to make those rings super crispy. Once again, a whisking we will go because it does build muscle. And you want to batter something like this. It's a little too thin, add a little more flour. If it's too thick, add some more sparkling water. But to me, this is perfect. Okay, let's grab up those rings that have been so patiently waiting and dip them in the flour mixture and just kind of rub them and mix them around till they're fully coated on all sides. And then you guessed it into that batter mixture and give them a good bath and dredge so they are completely coated with that batter. And you can dredge them in batches. I'm just doing them one at a time for demonstration purposes. After they are coated with the batter into another dredging station consisting of panko breadcrumbs. And I use panko because they just add that nice, big, beautiful texture to the rings. You know, you want to flip them and flop them until they're completely coated. And just set them aside on a wire rack. I just had to get a shot here, guys, and show you that these onion rings look edible before they're even edible or fried, I should say. But don't they look good? Speaking of frying, we're going to grab the rings up and throw them into some oil heated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. If you don't have a thermometer, you can throw some of that breadcrumb in and if it bubbles and sizzles, you know the oil is ready. And we are going to fry these rings, turning occasionally until they are a beautiful golden brown. Now there's no specific time here, just keep an eye on it, and when they turn that golden brown you want, pull them out. Using your tongs and a handy dandy wire rack of sorts. And I do declare these indeed look like onion rings. Then just go ahead and set them aside on a wire rack to drain off any excess oil. You know, it is kind of funny, but I'm thinking I want to make up a burger to go with these rings, and we do have a recipe for that. I'll post a link below in the description section. And there they be, guys, our ever so easy and delicious onion rings. Made at home, no frills, and no takeout, and no extra cost. Somebody else is saying, I want onion rings, I want onion rings. And you pick these up and bite into them. I'm not lying to you, I would not lie to you. They are super crispy. Probably the crispiest onion rings you will ever make. And the taste, the taste is just absolutely incredible. Dip them in some ketchup, some mayo sauce. They're out of this world, a must, must make. And if guys, you are so inclined, give us a like and subscribe.